so it is a Monday and normally it would be an off day right no wait a second my gym schedule is all jacked up I'm trying to get everything straightened out I wasn't supposed to go to the gym on Saturday I went on Saturday to get my push day and then I took a break on Sunday so I could go to a church thing with my wife help her with uh, the kids and everything because she had four kids my two kids my two nieces so you know I helped her out with that um, I wanted to help her out with that so uh, it's kind of my, got my gym schedule a little jacked up not too bad nothing to be really worried about it'd be a big deal it's life I mean life happens you know there's certain things that have to happen need to happen you want to happen whatever the case may be it's not going to affect your gym time so just you know switch everything up get your workouts in get back at your normal schedule it's not going to affect you and I don't know how much I can stress that I've said that plenty of times in my videos nothing has changed you know nothing has changed with me my diet was so bad so so bad during the past uh, week and over the weekend it was horrible I think it's actually it wasn't too bad during last week but it started getting really bad on Friday so yeah it got it got bad though it got super bad picking everything back up on Monday everything was on target today you know and I, ha I haven't gained any weight I'm still 176 uh, slowly putting on weight like I've been trying to so that's been great my battery's starting to die <laughs> I can't stress enough that you just life happens you switch everything up you still go to the gym don't let it get you down and think that it's going to have a major impact because it's not so today is a pool day uh, today is another goal setting day for the deadlift I think I'll be up to close to 350 it might be 340 I'm not sure like I said guys got to use that uh, the uh, rep count app that app is a life Say the go for that goal, get in there, see what I can do. As you can see right now, I'll hear the weather that Missouri weather. Yeah, it's all cloudy and nasty in November, raining. It's been raining all day long, it's like 49 degrees. So, hopefully, it doesn't get too cold because it'll freeze and everything will be a sheet of ice like it was last year, the year before last. Almost to the gym now. Gonna get this pool workout in. I'm super excited. Tomorrow will be an off day. Wednesday will be a legs day. And once Wednesday is over, I'll pretty much have an off day on Thursday. Friday, Saturday, be back in the gym. I'll be back on track. Be like, the weekend never happened. <laughs> All right, so got out of the gym. Everything went great. Uh, I didn't PR on the deadlift. I'll tell you why. Because I decided to try pulling sumo tonight. So I've never pulled, oh, well, I can't say never. I tried pulling sumo once before, but I didn't really put much effort into it. More or less, I just tried it like for the warm up. And then after that, switched back over to conventional to do my actual working sets. So I didn't really give it my all the first time. So basically, this is really my first sumo workout through and through. Like, all sets, all reps, didn't switch or anything like that. Just went with sumo. You know, I'm not, I'm not for it or against it. Uh, it was weird. I wasn't able to pull as much as I do conventional. Um, I could tell that it would target different areas. Like I could tell it, that it would, uh, it would put more. I use my hamstrings more for sumo than I did for conventional. You know. Uh, it almost seemed, and I know this isn't right because you're supposed to use your core more with conventional, but it almost seemed like I was using my core more for the sumo. I mean, as far as like punching my stomach out against my belt, I was able to engage my core a little better. I don't know if that's right or not. It's, it's kind of weird, but it is what it is. That's why I didn't PR tonight. That's kind of what I did. Just tried sumo to see how that went. Uh, wasn't able to capture any footage. I know when the manager's there. I know when, you know, which person is the manager plus I know when it's a good time to try to do that because you know whether or not the gym's full because like I said my gym's not very big I can't set a normal size tripod up I'm looking into like I said getting a uh, 
a small tripod like a, a Joby or something like that that has the magnetic feet so I could like attach it just to the squat rack or something with the magnet you know it's out of the way it's small you know no big deal that way I don't have to set up a tripod it's just that small little Joby plus it would give me a nice little stick on the bottom of the uh, camera to kind of set out in front of me so it gives more of a, a range to be out like this instead of up like this <laughs> so see if that would work as far as being in the gym uh, I just did a review over my other tripod though my Manfrotto that thing is flipping awesome I love that uh, my wife gave it to me as an early Christmas present so yeah it's it's great it's gonna come in handy definitely when I'm doing videos uh, the topic videos and stuff like that it's a great tripod if I do end up switching gyms and they don't care at Gold's, they said they wouldn't care before, I don't know if it still holds true or not, but if they don't care that I film in there, then I might end up using both the Joby and the Manfrotto because the Manfrotto is just so nice. I mean, it's just, it's light, moves around. I'm sure the Joby would be light too because it'd be so small, but it's light, moves around well, you know, it's just, it's nice. And it's, you know, it's not just, just for YouTube. It would be great to be able to put my workouts on YouTube, but to actually like record yourself and see how your form is, how everything checks out, to make sure everything looks right, looks well, you're doing everything, because I don't have a trainer, I don't have a, a partner or anything to go to the gym with, so I can kind of see how my form and everything looks. I mean, it's really beneficial. So if your gym will let you record, I would definitely consider it. I know it's kind of embarrassing and some gyms definitely won't do it as far as, you know, thinking that you're recording I don't know, being a creeper or something. Shit, people almost, almost hit a deer. Almost hit a deer. Just to make sure that I, uh, I'm doing everything correctly. Make sure my, all my, all my positions are right. Uh, my form's good and everything. So yeah, anyway, I'm on my way home. Or actually, I'm on my way to get my son, then I'm on my way home. Uh, make sure to like the video. If you did like the video, comment and subscribe. And teach their own.